The University of Michigan School of Dentistry is located in Ann Arbor, Michigan and is included as part of the 130 graduate programs within the Horace Rackham School of Graduate Studies. One such program is the School of Dentistry Oral Health Sciences PhD program. The program is fully funded by the Dean of the School and the Team Training Grant from the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research. Oral Health Science PhD Program Director Dr. Jan Hu highlights some points to consider. Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Hu, Director of the Oral Health Science PhD Program. Are you considering graduate training? Have you ever thought about oral health sciences being the area of research of your interest? We put this video together to provide you program information and hope you will consider our program as a place where you can realize your dream in graduate training. Students in the program choose a topic from the core research areas at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Those core research areas are oral and pharyngeal cancer, craniofacial development and genetics, oral sensory and pain neuroscience, oral infectious and immunological diseases, mineralized tissues and bone biology, tissue engineering and regeneration, and oral health disparities. Recent alumnus Erica Scheller commented on her reaction to the breadth of research taking place at the U of M School of Dentistry. When I started this program, I think I initially thought in research, you know, everything has already been done. And when you look at all the publications out there, what is there left to do? And so overcoming that and learning now that I'm leaving with this thought of, oh my goodness, there are so many questions left to answer. How am I ever going to narrow it down to one thing in particular to focus on has been a major shift during my time here. Professor Jacques Knorr has a unique perspective as both an alumnus of the Oral Health Science PhD program and as current faculty and mentor in the program. I was a, I was a student myself uh, of the OHS PhD program uh, and I feel that um, uh, I feel that uh, what I do today, I, I, owe, I owe to the program. Uh, I do uh, research uh, that is NIH funded. Uh, uh, some of our research just recently moved into a new uh, clinical trial for patients that have head and neck cancer. Uh, this, uh, the drug, the clinical trial that is being tested uh, was essentially uh, uh, based on a discovery that uh, uh, we've made the, uh, originally as I was a PhD student in Peter Poverini's lab. When asked what the key factors were that influenced their ultimate decision to select the OHS PhD program, alumnus Dr. Chad Novens responded. My greatest influence when I chose the PhD program was uh, the high caliber of research at the University of Michigan and uh, probably my first impression when I interviewed and visited the program was the supportive and collaborative, collaborative nature within the program among the faculty and staff. It was a very uh, encouraging and from what I could tell uh, nurturing type environment. Dr. Ivan Kapila, Director of Global Initiatives and the OHS PhD program mentor, comments on the academic and scientific growth she's seen in the OHS PhD students. Yeah, so I think it's, you know, for, for students, it's really wonderful watching them develop over when, you know, when they first come and do a rotation in your lab, to watch them progress through the program. And it's certainly a highlight, and things that I remember are when a student either gets a really important publication or if they win an award. These are just really wonderful moments and highlights that, that I recall. Professor Jacques Knorr comments on the instructor-to-student ratio in the OHS PhD program. It's a, it's a relatively small program. Um, it's not uh, uh, a program with um, hundreds of students. We typically have between 15 and 20 students. Uh, there are many more faculty here in the school uh, than uh, students in the PhD program. So each student really receives a lot of attention from the faculty. Recent graduate, Dr. Turki Alhazazi, talks about one of his most memorable experiences as a PhD student in the program. Uh, actually, when my name was announced in April 2009 as the winner of the first prize of the International uh, Association of Dental Research Hacking Awards competition, and frankly speaking, my background in basic science research is, was limited. So uh, going from almost nothing to achieving the highest award that um, 
research scientists in the field would ask for is huge for me. Dr. Ivan Kapila comments on the importance of students being able to first experience and then choose which lab and ultimately which area of research they will pursue. It's in the OHS program is that they are given a large number of opportunities to explore lots of different uh, labs, uh, areas of research, and by this ability of the program to allow them to experience these broad areas, then they can you know, choose something that maybe calls to them. And I think this is one of the, the, the values of the program. Dr. Turki Alhazazi comments on how the ability to be immersed in several lab rotations prior to choosing a lab was unique compared to other programs he'd researched. That's actually a very great question because uh, one of the best actually things in the OHSPG program at U of M is it is structured that uh, would give the student uh, like the opportunity to rotate in several labs and which is not the case in other schools. So by doing that the student is exposed to different areas of science and then he will be uh, actually able to pick what exactly he want to be pursuing in his future. If you are considering dentistry as a profession and you are interested in oral health science research, you should come see our program. Contact us and come experience the Michigan difference.